since we've posted and so yeah so I'll be talking about that but I'll be mainly talking about like university life and so my mom is at work so you guys won't be seeing Gabby in this video maybe later maybe a bit later I'll try and get a clip of her in the video trying the food how about that we can do that so if you guys made it into the new year please comment down below that you made it into the new year and Put like this emoji if you know this emoji. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, guys. So it's been so long since I filmed the video. I feel so weird, and it's the second time filming while cooking. So this should be interesting. This shouldn't really be like a tutorial, but just more me talking while cooking. And a friend of mine, she kind of gave me the idea like to talk about university abroad and for my case or in my case it's more like university abroad abroad because I'm studying in Germany when I came to Germany to study and I'm now studying in Malaysia <laughs> so that's crazy because I actually have a foreign semester but because of corona I'm studying it here in Germany so how is it studying in a pandemic abroad abroad I want to share some insights with you how it is and what I've been struggling with the last few weeks slash months and why I've been absent and you know yeah so stay tuned we'll be cooking some nice food it shouldn't take that long I already taught up my salmon and yeah let's get into the video and guys please like the video if you're happy to see us back on YouTube. So guys, um, camera set up a bit weird now, but <clears throat> I almost threw the salmon away earlier because I thought it was spoiled, like it was darker than usual. And then I remembered that I bought wild salmon. So somehow it turns out I Googled it, it's supposed to be darker. So that's good to know, because I almost threw it away. <laughs> So I'm going to just go ahead and season that right now. So guys, first I want to talk about how the hell did I even end up studying in Malaysia? Because Malaysia was not my first choice, right? So guys, the interesting thing is that I always wanted to study in South America because I was like, in high school I learned so much Spanish and I wanted to use it. I mean. I forgot almost everything but I found it sad that I was gonna forget Spanish so I thought if I go to a Spanish speaking country then I'd be motivated to study the language before going and I'd learn it even more by speaking it there and I thought that way I'd have a next language so I always wanted to go to a Spanish speaking country so it was either gonna be Peru or Colombia in the end, I wanted to go to Peru, but that didn't work out at all. So guys, now I, I took my salmon out of the package and um, I just washed them off and now I'm like cutting them dry to season them. So where was I? Okay, I was saying that I always wanted to study in South America. But then I ended up in Malaysia because back then when I was applying, I applied like last year, January. And the lady, um, this international lady at our university, she told us like, I don't see much hope for you to go to 
a rule because the numbers there are really bad and so but you might have a chance to go to Malaysia and I was like okay so then I signed up for that and I got through and everything but later on in the year it turned out that Malaysia also wasn't letting in anybody at first I was a bit sad but then I figured you know what whatever is whatever I just want to be done with studying I'm so tired of it yeah so that was that I guess yeah so I'm studying in Malaysia <laughs> And I never thought I'd study in Malaysia, I swear to God. It's so funny. So I'm adding some of this fish seasoning and then I'm gonna add some of this steak seasoning. Yeah. So I mean an online foreign semester. That's so weird. I mean I've seen so many differences compared to studying in Germany versus studying in Malaysia. I've definitely noticed the differences besides online because you know in Germany we also had online because of Corona but they have like a different mentality there I guess and it's quite interesting for the most part and the school system is also different there so yeah it's been kicking my ass <laughs> not necessarily that it's harder but I think the worst part is definitely the time difference for me. I think I underestimated that somehow. I don't know, like, imagine guys having classes at um, like between 1 in the morning and like 10 or 11 in the morning. So my whole schedule is like all over the place. So it's been hard to even film videos like you guys have seen because. When I'm sleeping, my mom is up. When my mom is sleeping, I am up. So. And, you know, we want to make videos together, not always apart. But I think it was just better for us to do them apart. Hence why we're still doing them apart right now. I mean, we still managed to go to the Christmas market together. That's a plus. Or that was a plus, I should say. Yeah, so I think we might be done with my seasoning. <laughs> oh, okay so I'm gonna let it sit a bit and then what am I gonna do I already have rice pre-cooked so I don't have to make any rice then I'm gonna cut up some onions I think for my veggies and that's gonna be that and then I'll be back to continue my little story or my little lifetime update <laughs> So guys, I guess in order to make you all see the difference between what's going on with me now in Malaysia, let me all just explain what my university life was like before that here in Germany. So I'm not cutting my onion. Yeah, so how is it like grade wise? So some subjects we just have to write a paper here in Germany and we submit that and that's that for the whole subject, right? Some subjects we just write an exam and some subjects we have like a, 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 a what would you call it a combination of those like we have the exam we have a project and we'd have a presentation and that would already be a lot for a subject for us here in Germany because it's like I mean we have a lot of those subjects where we have to do three different things in the semester right so say you have like six subjects and you have to be writing six different papers throughout the semester you have like six different presentations throughout the semester and then in the end you have to write six different exams and it's like it's always hard those exams because you really don't have the time to study because of all those projects and presentations and so so that was the difficulty level here in Germany I guess now in Malaysia, I feel like the subjects are a bit easier besides maths because maths there is kicking my ass because that lady over there is so extra in her maths but besides maths, I feel like the subjects there are okay like they're not hard, they're okay and 
the only thing that's killing me is like the time difference like I said before right but besides all of that I would say in Malaysia they do this differently like you have so many different assignments in a semester like just chunks like here 10 marks there 10 marks there 10 marks assignment every week is some assignment <laughs> and i'm not used to that like i'm used to having like those three big things if even but them no here you get a 10 marks there you get a 10 marks every week you come to class oh next week is this next week is that some presentation some so it's always somehow you're just always busy there even if it's not the hardest stuff but you're always busy and i don't know it got to me it got to me like i'm not used to that <laughs> i mean i guess it has its its positives and negatives right so that way you definitely can't fail because you just be collecting all the points you can throughout the semester but it's so annoying especially the maths teacher there she's like she gives us so much work for just 10 the points i'm like I almost died for this, but just 10 marks. Yeah. So it has been interesting. Like, I've had weeks where I had like four different deadlines in a week. And even yesterday, I had two different deadlines in that day. It's crazy. But thank God, the semester is almost done. I have almost survived. Guys, I also felt like I went through a mini depression because. I never saw the light of day. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing better this year somehow, but last year was definitely really rough because it was always dark. Because I was sleeping through the days, I was up at night and repeat. And I'm kind of still doing that. And it's like I don't have like a, a special bedtime. Like today I might go to bed at this time, tomorrow I might end up going to bed that time. It's like my body is all over the place. It doesn't know bedtime for running time from. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Of course, it makes social situations also harder. You know? Because I've been trying to meet up with friends, and so I'm like, well, I'm only up at night time. I sleep during the day. <laughs> it's just challenging. But I feel like these last few days, I've been up during the day somehow. I've managed to do that. It's like I've started sleeping um, like around 6 p.m. and then I'd wake up like right before classes start at 1 and then I'll be up. So that new schedule seems to be going okay for me so far. Yeah, I've been trying to do better this year. Get out of my, my low and dark zone. And I went jogging for the first time in a very long time the other day. It was only 30 minutes, but that felt good. And yesterday again I went skating that did really good for me too going out in public and you know like oh it was definitely a good relief to just get out and have some fun oh guys and after this I am going to edit mom's video because she filmed a video for you guys so I'm gonna do that after this and you guys will have a video from mama it's gonna be a next story time so comment down below if you're excited to see that or I guess you would have seen it already right okay so now I think I'm gonna start with my salmon and I'm gonna warm up the rice and yeah, after that I'll do the veggies and I'll see you all back again in a second Turning on the stove. Now I'm going to add some oil. I'm gonna add some water to my rice. Guys, change of plan. My rice is not good anymore. It's spoiled. So I'm gonna have to make some new rice. So guys, I think I know now why I'm feeling a bit better. It's because Malaysia did end up having a flood. I don't know if you all heard about it, but they had this flood, right? It was the week before Christmas. 
and it helped me because I was just going through it. It was a burn. I felt like I was going through somewhat of a burnout and almost depressed. And I don't know, but that week where they got the flood, they kind of extended all the submission dates, and I kind of felt free again. You know, like. I felt like so much burden was taken off my shoulders, you know, so that helped. Unfortunately, it took a flood to get a break. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's also one interesting thing is that Malaysians are, are mostly Muslim, I think, so they don't celebrate Christmas, so otherwise we wouldn't have gotten any Christmas holidays, right? So it really literally took us that flood to get some Christmas holidays. We had like a week, I think, sometime in November, and that was that. And we're never gonna get another break after that. So in my case, thankfully, but in their case, I'm definitely very sorry for what happened in Malaysia. You know, because we also had a flood here in July and I've seen it. It's crazy, you know, like you can lose your whole house due to a flood, so I'm, I'm really sorry that happened to them, but it seems like they're doing good now. They're killing us with assignments again, so they must be doing good. <laughs> yeah guys, so I feel like that week helped and even after that they extended for another week. But however, they only extended like the classes, but we still had to like um, submit the assignments and stuff that we do. But still, it was nice. In that time, I got to like just watch some um, Netflix and so because I don't know, I needed that. I needed some something, and yeah, that helped, I guess. And yeah, that helped me get through the last week, I would say, in uh, 2021. Yeah, now we're here in 2022, where I hope to be doing better and greater things hopefully I'm done in a few weeks studying overall in general abroad and in Germany yeah guys so now let's just make the salmon you know guys it looks like I, I cut up all the onions for nothing because it looks like my vegetables here already have onions in them. So all of that was for nothing. So, okay, I want the oil to be hot, but not too hot. So. Can I? Yeah. Salt and pepper, no fancy nothing. <sighs> My rice seems to be taking longer than expected because I just thought, you know, I had left the rice, but nope, now I have to wait for the rice to be done. So fish is done, the veggies are going in and the rice is still here. I see how long I have to wait. Thank you. 
some seasoning on there. and present my food really fancy the other day I, I, I got this thing to put my rice in you know for it to have that fancy shape <laughs> the first time I'm doing this should be interesting it's even the perfect shape because I don't want to eat too much So I'm gonna get really tired and then I won't be able to get much done and that wouldn't be so good right so it's like two spoons in here big spoons oh no <laughs> it's splattered all over can I save it or should I redo it I'm taking this way too serious guys This was such a fail. Okay, I'm not gonna take it that serious. Come on, it's just food. Then, my veggies. my rosemary in here I'm not such a fan of rosemary oh lord I'm not gonna buy this thing again well at least let me try it first before I make all these assumptions okay so now we have a bit of veggie then the fish And I have a piece of lime extra. Cheers, I'm finally done. Have a look at the finished product. This is the finished product. So, yeah, guys, so let me finish up what I was saying and while I eat. Where was I? Um, hmm. The veggies are interesting. Like I said before, I'm not such a rosemary girl. But it's okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Now I have my lemon. I'm gonna add it on my salmon. Perfect. 
perfect portion so I don't fall asleep with. <laughs> so guys, my battery died. So where was I? So I was gonna go into some differences. What I've noticed with um, studying here in Germany versus studying in Malaysia. Um, the first thing I would have to say is the mentality is different. I would say here in Germany it's more strict and in Malaysia the professors are more lenient. The whole system there seems to be unstructured you never know when what is what here everything is structured you know when what is what and here in Germany you will know the last day of classes you will know when the exams are you will get like a list of all the dates you'll know the end of the semester date so if you want to book a vacation or whatever you can do that but in Malaysia everything's just open we're like we've been asking them like for the exam dates for the longest time because we assume that maybe they have a list like we have here in Germany no it seems like they don't have that every professor somehow they tell you the date in class and then the last time the craziest thing happened we were even negotiating dates for a big final exam <laughs> i found that really funny you know first she said the 25th and then we like back and forth and then we we um some students were like i cannot be i cannot do it on the 25th let's do it on the 5th of february i'm like okay so the dates of the exams were up for discussion and debate or what you want to call it <laughs> I've never experienced that here in Germany before so that was interesting I mean in the beginning I saw like students from there they would they would just not appear to presentations like and that wasn't a problem because then they would just present the next week here in Germany you could forget that Maybe if you're lucky and the prof is nice, but that's not how things are done here. Like, or if you don't submit a project here, then you know you won't get marks for that. But here in, in, in Malaysia, I've I've heard uh, professors say, "Oh, such and such people you haven't uploaded, or for whoever who hasn't uploaded your project, you can still send me them. I'm waiting on them." You know like it's still encouraged that they send it even after they've missed the deadline which would not be a thing here in Germany they're just so lenient it's almost impossible to feel like life the only thing I don't know yet is how they really mark the papers and stuff that they give us that should be interesting Then other stuff that got us confused is like, for example, in this one subject, it's like this lady she gave us a whole list of what the semester is combined of, and we have like four assignments, two tests, and blah blah blah. And turns out in the end, she doesn't even go after her, you call it after her list. And then she puts in random assignments in between so we don't even know what test we're doing or what this or what it's so confusing like why would you give a, a structured list if you're not gonna go by it like <laughs> makes no sense hey like, are we doing the test now are we doing the assignment what are we doing yeah That's really good. So 
So guys, besides all this um, foreign semester stuff, I'm also trying to like write my bachelor thesis in the same semester, right? So I've been doing some research and stuff. I already have a professor and everything and I have to send him a second expose because Oh gosh, so now I, I have to delete some footage from the camera because I had them card issues. So I was saying Yeah, so he didn't approve of my first expose So I had to go back to the drawing board and I'm gonna I'm in the midst of reading a lot and then I'll be able to write the expose and send it to him hopefully by the end of this week. Yeah. So I really hope I'm done by March officially. Like in Malaysia as well as here in Germany, my bachelor thesis. Yeah. So wish me luck. I feel like in the worst case scenario, maybe I'm done in April. Yeah. I just have to be done. I cannot cannot do this dumb mom so tired of studying. So, so tired of studying. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, for coming back and supporting us after so many weeks of not posting. It really means a lot to me and my mom. Um, yeah, I'll try and do better. I really don't want to promise anything because the last time I made so many promises and I felt like shit after. But like I explained, it's been a crazy few weeks. Um, yeah, I'll try and do better, definitely. So this is my second video now. And my mom also just posted a video, like we're gonna post a video today. So we're getting back in the swing of things. And hopefully they stay that way. If not, you guys know what's happening. But I'll try my best, okay? So please comment down below your thoughts on university life. <laughs> um, yeah, and please subscribe if you haven't as yet, because we have a lot of viewers who don't subscribe. And like the video. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Peace. Girl. So guys, mm. my mom finally came home. Say hi to Gabby. Hello everybody! Hi! So hungry and I get this wonderful surprise today. Oh my god! Didn't eat anything today, you know? Imagine! Yeah, I come home to something so delicious. My little cook. <laughs>